Hey guys, it's Frankie. Welcome back to my channel. I am back with another very exciting video. Since you guys loved my last one so very much, I decided I was going to make another 100 plus YouTube video idea video. Also, thank you to Skillshare for sponsoring this video. It is super, super frustrating when you sit down to film and you have no idea what to film. So hopefully this video is helpful to some of you all. But yeah, let's just get right into it. I have a bunch of random categories. This is literally like straight off the top of my brain. None of them are in order and they're pretty random but hopefully this sparks some ideas for you. So I'm just gonna start off. And sorry if I'm looking down a lot, I'm gonna be looking at my phone. But the first category is food. You could do a Trader Joe's taste test because they have a bunch of crazy different foods or all these taste tests. Trying every coffee shop in your town. Testing popular YouTubers coffee brands like Emma Chamberlain's, Peter McKinnon's, like a bunch of YouTubers have coffee brands for some reason. So you could do a video testing like all the popular YouTuber coffee brands. You could do a cook with me video, a bake with me video. If you have a coffee spending problem like me, you could do trying to make popular Starbucks drinks at home. You could do a what I eat in a day video. You could try and go vegan for a week. I think that'd be pretty challenging, but very interesting. You could try eating no sugar, like zero sugar for a week. There are foods that have zero sugar in them and honestly, it's so hard to do in America because our food is so pumped full of sugar, so that would be a very interesting video. You could try the eating for under $25 challenge for an entire week, like a whole week's worth of food for $25. That's super interesting for people who are into budgeting. The next category I have is routine. So you could do your typical morning routine, pretty basic, but people do really like these. Trying Oprah's morning routine. Trying any celebrity's workout routine. Trying the billion dollar morning routine. I actually just did that. I'll put it in the iCard, wherever that is. That was actually a very interesting and funny video to make. You could try Blank's workout routine, like any YouTuber, any celebrity, any influencer, anything, anybody's workout routine for a week. This isn't really a routine. I don't know why it's under this category, but, but you could do the waking up at 5 a.m. for a week and this is how it went video. The next category is workout. So doing a Chloe Ting workout. I know a lot of people do these and actually see really good results. So you could try doing a Chloe Ting workout. Um, she has a bunch of free like workout challenges on her channel. So yeah, if you literally just look up Chloe Ting like workout challenge, a bunch will pop up. You could do, I did 100 squats, push-ups, blank workout for however long, like a week, and this is what happened. Like I did 100 squats for a week and this is what happened, or these are my results. You could do that with pretty much any workout. For some reason these videos perform pretty well, so that's a good option. You could do your workout journey if you actually are into working out. You could do your 5 a.m. or whatever time workout routine. If you are into working out and that's kind of your thing, you could do tips for people that are wanting to get back into working out or just starting working out, like whatever your tips are. And that is it that I have for workout. The next category is a big boy. It is fashion. Reviewing popular Instagram clothing brands, like brands you see all over Instagram, all the girls wearing it, but tagging it. Review those popular brands. A lot of people are curious about them, and I started doing that, and that's actually how I work with a lot of the clothing brands that I do. So start reviewing some brands if you're into fashion. Reviewing TikTok clothing brands, like brands you see that are super popular on TikTok. Trying TikTok clothing DIYs, like clothing hacks that you see on there, or like clothing ups cycles, anything like that, any TikTok clothing DIY. Thrift flip clothes from the thrift store, or you could do a spin on this and flip clothes from Walmart. You could do recreating like Emma Chamberlain or like any YouTuber's outfits. I think hers would be super interesting because both, because a lot of her clothing is thrifted, so it'd be kind of hard to recreate her outfits, but like pretty much anybody you can do recreating their outfits. Another video idea is making Walmart clothing look expensive, like trying to get it and make it look bougie. You could try recreating Pinterest famous outfits, recreating outfits from your Instagram explore page. You could do a friends, like, or you could do in any TV show lookbook, like a friends lookbook, a literally like Rick and Morty inspired lookbook, like any TV show you can make outfits from. Like even cartoons, like there's so many fun things that you can do. You just gotta get creative with it. So at like a TV show lookbook. This is basic, but these videos always do good. Like 20 outfit ideas, 20 school outfit, like school appropriate outfit ideas, 20 date night outfit ideas. You don't have to do 20. I don't know why I keep saying 20. Blank outfit, I like 20, I'm just using 20 as an example, but 20 date night outfits, 20 work or office businessy outfits. You could try ordering clothing off Amazon. Another idea is to 
recreate super trendy outfits with clothing from Amazon, thrifting an entirely new wardrobe. You could even go further and take that to trying to thrift an entire new wardrobe for under $100, rating Pinterest famous outfits, rating celebrities blank outfits, like rating celebrities Met Gala outfits or like any event that they went to and they all showed up and showed out. And the next category is plants. So come plant shopping with me. I love watching these videos. If you can't tell, I love me some plants. So come plant shopping with me. I'm actually planning on making that video soon. So stay tuned. But a house plant tour. I love house plant tours. You show off all your cute little plant babies and like what they are and yeah, everyone's plants are different. So it's kind of cool to see what you got and how it's growing and stuff, you know? Ordering crazy plants online because that gives you access to tons of crazy plants that you wouldn't find in your normal greenhouses. So ordering crazy house plants. Propagate slash a garden with me vlog. Like you can do some cute planting. I actually made one of these too. Here's an example of what I mean by like garden with me, but, but that would just be a cute video. And like a plant with me plus chit chat. Plant and plants, drinking coffee chit-chatting, 10 out of 10 content right there, for me at least. But anyways, the next category is shopping. So shop with me for spring slash fall decor, a Target shopping vlog, a home goods shopping vlog, a TJ Maxx shopping vlog, buying stuff from small businesses, things like come shopping with me for home decor, come shopping with me for groceries, stuff like that. There's so many options that you can do with a come shopping with me vlog. The next category, sorry, some of these categories are short, so I'm just gonna whip through them, but the next category is art. So trying to talk art DIY, paint with me, painting with me, paint with me plus chit chat. I tried painting a self portrait. These would be very interesting and funny to watch, especially if you're a very beginner painter. A drunk paint with me, like you know like the wine and paint classes, but like do your own version and just paint while drunk, I don't know. <laughs> a sketchbook tour, starting a new sketchbook, so like breaking in your new sketchbook, Ugh, those are always so satisfying. Starting a new sketchbook, um, showing your art through the ages. So comparing your like childhood art, middle school art, your art now, show your growth as an artist. And then my last idea is painting on denim slash painting on your clothes. The next category is YouTube. Any YouTube advice slash YouTube tips, how to have a successful channel in whatever, those types of videos. How I edit my videos, all my YouTube equipment how I make my thumbnails. You could make a copyright free song slash playlist and upload it. A lot of people like these, so that's how a lot of people find good aesthetic music for their videos. That's a good one if you don't want to show your face either, if you want to just like make like faceless content. Also, another good one is making intro slash outro templates. So like stuff that YouTubers can download and use for like transitions or intros or outros. If you look up an intro template or an outro template like free for use, You'll see what I mean. If you're good at editing, that would be a good option for you. Wait, before I get into the next category, I have to take a second and talk about today's sponsor, and that is Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of classes to choose from. They literally have classes on pretty much everything. If you're into graphic design, they've got classes for you. Animation, they've got classes for you. You wanna learn about Procreate, they've got a class. I'm assuming most of you are interested in YouTube stuff, They've got tons and tons of classes on there about YouTube. There are just so many amazing, creative, fun classes on there for everyday people just like you and I. A class that I'm actually taking right now, I'm almost done with it, is called Going Viral, Write, Film, and Make Content That People Share. So it's all about planning out your content and what is actually interesting to your viewers, which is very cool. It is by Matt Belisai. I don't know how to say it. Belisai? Belisai. Very cool last name. And I feel like it's helping me to better make my content for you guys, which is very cool. It is something that I'm very interested, obviously, because you're on my channel right now. I, I like taking classes that are geared towards YouTube. Something really nice about Skillshare is that it is geared towards learning, so there are no ads popping up in your face, disrupting your learning, and it is less than $10 a month with an annual subscription. And Skillshare is constantly adding new classes, so there's always something new to learn on there. The first 1,000 of my subscribers to go to the link in my description can get a free trial of a Skillshare Premium Membership. I absolutely love Skillshare, so yeah, go ahead, go try it. It's literally free for you to try right down there. So yeah, thank you again to Skillshare for sponsoring this video. Now let's get back into the video. The next category is 
24 hour challenge. I didn't know what to call it. So, um, 24 hours in a car, 24 hours in your room, 24 hours in your closet if you want to make it even harder. Spend 24 hours handcuffed to your mom or your boyfriend or girlfriend or whatever. Spend 24 hours outdoors. You're not allowed to go inside for anything, maybe the bathroom, but that's it. You have to be outside for 24 hours. 24 hours inside of a grocery store, like Walmart when it was open 24 hours. If you spent like 24 hours in a store, that would be super interesting and funny. You'd probably get kicked out, but 24 hours in the store. Going without social media for 24 hours. I know that isn't like that long, but some people are super addicted like me. So 24 hours without social media and like what did it do for your brain and your mental health? The next category is business. You could do something like I tried making a small business and this is what happened. These videos would take a little bit more effort, but I think it'd be kind of worth it and very interesting. Small business ideas, like what are some ideas that people can do? You might change someone's life. You might spark someone's creative juices. They might make a crazy company. Like if you got any business ideas, throw them out there. Tips for other small business owners. Things that I have learned while running a small business. I made an Etsy shop for a week and this is what happened. You could also do the same thing with Facebook Marketplace. I sold stuff on Facebook Marketplace for a week and this is what happened. You could also do like, I tried furniture flipping for a week and this is what happened. There's like all sorts of of stuff that you can like flip and renovate and yeah those, those videos are super interesting to me I'm watching them all the time so yeah you could do furniture flipping the next category is makeup attempting crazy TikTok makeup looks like trying to recreate like crazy looks it'd be so funny especially if you're not good at makeup and trying to recreate super bright makeup looks that you see on celebrities or influencers or anything the next one is wearing bright makeup in public for the first time if you've never done this and like seeing people's reactions or like how did you feel so like title it like wearing bright makeup in public for the first time and this was my experience and then you could do rating pinterest famous makeup looks and then i have one that is not even in a category it just says playing episodes like the game episode for some reason these videos do super good and they're kind of fun to make by the way i will start an episode series again you guys have been asking so yes but playing episode i don't know what it is but people like to watch these well including myself but yeah so playing the game episode <laughs> And then the last category is random, random ideas that I had. So taking yourself on a date, giving yourself a spa day, showing you my TikTok likes, setting up a cute date and surprising your partner, 50 date ideas, DMing random celebrities to see if any respond. I got a Tinder for a date and this is what happened. This would be funny, especially for people that are in a relationship and have like never used Tinder. This is actually a video that I wanna make cause I've never ever ever used a dating app. I have a boyfriend so I just think it'd be funny cause I know nothing Nothing about that whole culture. So, trying to get TikTok famous in a week. Take Instagram pictures with me slash how I take my Instagram pictures, how I edit my Instagram pictures. Recreating popular YouTubers Instagram posts. Trying five minute crafts. If you don't know what five minute crafts is, it is this absolutely horrible, horrible YouTube channel. Just look up five minute crafts and you will see what I mean. And go ahead and try some of those yourself because Chances are they will not work. The last one I have is being productive for 24 hours straight. So don't sleep, make a list, get everything done on it, clean, do everything 24 hours. How productive can you be in a 24 hour time period? This would be super tiring, but it'd be so interesting to see how much you can do and like what you did for yourself in that 24 hours. So the being productive for 24 hours challenge. And yeah, that's it. Those are all my video ideas. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that or found it helpful. You guys really did like my last one, so yeah, I wanted to make another one for you all. Also, thank you again to Skillshare for sponsoring this video. If you guys did like this video, please be sure to like and subscribe down below, and I love you guys so much. I will see you all in the next one. Bye.